Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? I am so excited for this video because I am finally going to be trying Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I have just heard nothing but good things about this brand, so when they released their brand new Surge palette, I knew I had to get it. The color story is just so beautiful. It's a rainbow palette, but in the most aesthetically pleasing way possible. You've got some pastels, some like a mid-tone, some deeper shades, some shimmers, and then some neons, and I just feel like it is so, so beautiful. They also have the original blends palette, which I'll show you really quickly what it looks like. It's another <laughs> rainbow matte palette, but um, I'm not gonna be playing with that today. That'll be for a future video. However, in my recent haul where I was talking about a ton of eyeshadow palettes, asking you guys what you wanted to see, it felt like majority of the comments wanted to see Blend Bunny Cosmetics first. So that's what we're here to do. So here's what it looks like nice and up close. I honestly don't even know what I want to do today, but mostly I'm gravitating towards the greens. I feel like there's some really interesting like olive and just, oh, I'm, I'm so into it. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do live swatches of every single shade in the palette, do an eye look, and then I will give you my thoughts so far just my first impression of the palette and the formula at the end. So let's jump on into that. I love that this palette folds all the way back. I know that's such a little thing, but it's one of my pet peeves with palettes. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first row. We've got white out, which looks like a pretty pigmented, just matte white. I mean, that looks pretty good. <laughs> We've got cut out, which is kind of more of like a beigey matte shade. Cheeks, which is a very pale pink. I am gonna try and not take too long to go through the swatches because we've got a bunch to do, but my goodness, I feel like for being such light shades, those were pretty opaque. Next we have Beckon, which is a light lavender, all about that kind of tone. Chills, which looks like a like very blue-based light gray almost. And then Hint, which was one of the shades that was really calling to me personally when I was staring at this palette before I started filming. Just like a pastel, kind of minty green. But with like a, it almost seems like it has like a bit of grunge to it. Like it's not just like a plain green pastel. I don't know. I was into it. So there is the first row. Next we have the shade Locked, another one that was really calling to me. Such a pretty olive green and like the pigment from just barely like me real quick. Looks pretty good. We've got Juicy, which is a pretty bright orange matte. Maybe, which is a bright neon pink. The pastel formula felt a little bit softer than these ones that I'm swatching, but they all look pretty opaque. Next we've got Stay. It's like a bright kind of Barney purple, rush, kind of a like mid-tone teal, and then alive, which is, I would describe as kind of like a grass green. I feel like I keep saying matte, but it feels a little unnecessary because there's only one row that's not matte. But there is the second row all swatched out. Next we have all the deep matte shades, which I think might be the row that I'm the most excited about. We've got such a pigmented matte black. Grunge, which is a really deep kind of red brown. Taboo, a little bit more red. A little less brown than the previous. Oh wow. Okay. Next we have Covet, which is like a very deep purple, but still it looks kind of bright at the same time. Super pretty. We've got Linger. So this one looks very similar to Vinyl. It's just like a charcoal gray, but it's very, very deep. So honestly, just looking at the palette, I wish that that one had had a bit more of a blue undertone to it to kind of go along. And then we've got Lush, which is a very deep grungy green. I mean, you can barely even tell the difference on my fingers there, but it's super pretty. So in an effort of trying to do all the swatches at once, I think I'm gonna swatch the shimmers on my hand and then we'll do the last neons here. So now we have flash. Oh, oh lordy. <laughs> the whole pan, the whole, the whole shadow just moved. Okay, let me be a little bit softer. Oh my goodness, do you see that though? 
Like, it's just like breaking. Okay, let me just push it down. But there's what that one looks like. It's a really pretty kind of silvery gold champagne-y just all over the place kind of metallic, which I think would go nice if you're trying to do a little bit more of a neutral look. Next we have Zip It Up. Okay, well that one's, that one feels a lot better. This one is just like super squishy and like moving around. This one feels a little bit more solid. So that's just like a super pretty gold. I mean, looking in the pan, I was just like, okay. But then looking at it swatched on my finger, I mean, that looks amazing. We've got All Mine. This one looks a little bit less shimmery. It's kind of just like a hot pink with a purpley reflect going through it. Um, nothing too exciting to me. So, oh gosh. I just kind of like swatch that like that. I mean, it is a really pretty shade and it's got like a just different reflex of different neutral tones, which I like. And then here, zip it up, which is so intense. I feel like that looks like that could be in like the Natasha and a gold palette, like dang. And then there's the last one, which is, as you can see, not nearly as impressive. Next we have the shade Euphoric, which looks like such a pretty like periwinkle purple. So stunning. We've got underneath, very, very shimmery kind of blue and then limitless, which again, is stunning. I love how the gold zip it up is the one that is like calling to me the most and I was not expecting that. Now for the neons we have shot which feels pretty creamy for a neon shade. Sometimes neons can swatch okay but then they're just terrible on the eyes. I feel like I don't know that I'm gonna focus too much on the neons today. I'll probably use one of them, but that's definitely gonna need more testing to be able to give you guys my full opinion because neons can be so touchy. We've got Power, which is like a coraly shade. Oh wow, okay, on camera, it looks so much more dull than it looks in person. I like that these are actually appearing as true neons and not just bright colors. We've got Charged, which is a neon pink. Again, I'm looking at my monitor and they're just looking like blah, but then in real life, like looking in the mirror in front of me, I'm like, those are so bright. <laughs> Lastly, we've got Pulse, which is a bright purple, but like not nearly as neon as the others. Energy, we've got a bright blue, that one's pretty bright. And then Chemistry, which Okay, that was the first one that's not picking up as well. Like, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit more like choppy, like the way that it's picking up. Let me try and get a bit more. Yeah, not as smooth, but it is very bright neon green. Alrighty, this is a little sketchy, but uh, we'll just put it right here, okay? There is the entire Surge palette swatched out. I mean, I feel like it looks really, really nice. Swatches can only tell you so much, but I do think the color story is beautiful and I'm very excited to get it on my eyes. I already primed my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I think I'm gonna start off with this green right here hint. Just grabbing that on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna throw that through my crease to start off with as like my first transition shade. But I have like five different green mattes I wanna go in with, so starting it up a little bit higher. I mean, I feel like it looks really pretty and like softly blended right away. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Alive and I'm just gonna put that directly through my crease a little bit lower down using a slightly smaller blending brush. Again, pigmentation's really nice right away. I mean, I feel like it's blending pretty easily as well. Right now I'm taking the shade Locked, which I'm so excited about. I don't know, it's just calling to me. And I'm gonna throw that on the outer V. Just kind of start blending it out. And I feel like that looks really nice. It is one of those olive -y shades that kind of blends out like with a little bit of a gray tone. 
but I think it looks it looks good. I feel like everything's blending pretty nice. So let's take this shade Lush. It's a little bit of a deeper green. I just want to keep building up the depth and just testing these mattes because of how good I've heard they are. So I'm just taking that with a really tiny brush and throwing that in the outer V and then just lightly blending that circular motions. I mean, I feel like that looked really good. It's sticking, it's not getting patchy or anything. Like, I feel like that blended pretty effortlessly. Honestly, after everything I've heard about this brand, I would be kind of shocked if I ran into any major issues, but I still just wanted to, you know, completely test it for myself, see if it works for my eyes. I'm really happy with how that's looking, but we're gonna take it one step further and go into the matte black. Just picking up a little tiny bit, I just need to see. I think it's it's doing a good job. The deep green was already a very dark shade, so the matte black is only adding just a little bit more depth. But again, it's not getting patchy, it's not getting funny on the outer V or anything. It's like blending pretty much right away. I think I'm just gonna go into my previous brush that I used for the shade Alive and just go over that edge. But honestly, I really, really like the way it's looking. I might even take the original brush and go with just a little bit more of hint over top. I have literally no idea what I want to do for the lower lash line, but I want to play with some neon, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Chemistry and pop that on my inner corner to see how it does. That's personally my favorite way to use neons, and I think the easiest way to use them is not like through the crease or whatever, like just like having them on the inner corner because you will have to do very minimal blending, which I think is the best way to use neons, is in a way that you don't have to blend a ton. It looks nowhere near as bright on my eye as it did in the pan, so I'm gonna try and build it up just a little bit. Going with some more. Oh, actually, you know what? Right there. Oh, do you see that? Okay, it is not sticking the absolute best, and it's not like super, super bright. Like, I think it looks okay, but it's not like shockingly good. I guess I'll just go ahead and take the shade Locked, that olive, and just blend it along the entire thing because I just think it's so pretty. I just make it a little bit more of a smoky moment, a monochromatic green moment. So for the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the green Limitless, and I'm actually gonna try it on a brush just because I'm curious if it'll pick up or not because they do seem to be like the formula that works better with your finger. Just grabbing an E54 from Sigma. And I'm gonna pop that on like the middle of the lid. You know what? I think that looks pretty good actually. Just kind of blend it over the outer V. It'd probably look more intense with my finger, but that's definitely not a bad application. All right, I'm gonna do my finger on the other side. I mean, definitely like picks up the texture of the shadow a little bit more with the finger. And for the inner part of my lid, I'm gonna go into the shade Flash. That shade, I don't know if you can tell, it just is so movable. I don't know that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely kind of funny. So just gonna go ahead and put that on the inner portion of my lid. Ooh, actually, you know what? I don't like that. I thought that it would look cute, but I don't like the tone with the green. Okay, I'm gonna cover that up. Maybe should we go in with the gold? You know what, okay, I'm gonna take just a touch of Zip It Up. Hopefully this looks good. Let's try that. Okay, I mean, that gold is amazing. I don't know that it's the moment that I wanted it to be with the greens, but let me just kind of blend it and we'll see. I only got like the tiniest little flex of fallout, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead, throw on some liner, some mascara, and I'll be right back. For blush, I'm gonna take the Alamar Colorette Blush Trio in the shade Romantica right here and just throw that on my cheeks. 
For highlight, I'm going to go into the Natasha Nona Super Glow Highlight in the shade Fair. It's just like a really pretty golden highlighter. I'm just going to throw that on the tops of my cheekbones. A little bit on my nose. And then last but not least, I'm going to go into the Lisa Eldridge Lip Gloss in the shade Fair. So here is the finished look and I do really like how it turned out. I feel like it's definitely a bit different than what I originally planned in my head, especially because I decided to go in with that gold shade, which is such a stunning gold. I feel like I'm actually super pleasantly surprised by it because originally looking at the palette, I was like, ugh, like another gold, like da 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 you know, the way I feel about certain colors when you see them all the time in different palettes, but this one actually is so vivid and just such a pretty golden shade, so I'm happy with it. I would say that overall, the mattes in the palette, so pretty. The neons, I'm gonna have to test more. The one that I used on my inner corner was the one that swatched a little funky, so maybe it's just that one that's not the best, but just I feel like it didn't wanna stick the best. Maybe I need to go in with a white base underneath. I just don't know that it's gonna be a favorite neon formula for me personally. But overall, all the mattes that I used were so nice and that is majority of the palette, so I would say it's been a pretty good first impression. I really like the way that all the greens blended out. It's making me that much more excited to play with the original blends palette, so I'd be curious to hear if you have tried this, what you think, if you like the eye look, if you guys wanna see more looks with the palette, feel free to let me know. That's gonna be everything for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.